Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the NASCAR YouTuber Hunger Games Simulator. I got this idea from Double E Dud when he did his video on the NASCAR Hunger Games Simulator with actual NASCAR drivers. So this is where this idea kind of started out and uh, you know, I thought it'd be fun to do with actual NASCAR YouTubers. So as you can see here, I have all of the 24 YouTubers I will be including into this. And basically, if you don't know how the Hunger Games works, it's basically a free for all. Uh, you know, you can make alliances. You can, you can just. You basically have to survive to the end. And uh, this is completely random, entirely up to whatever the program says. So I have no control over really anything that happens. All right. So starting off. Uh, we have Soundhead Entertainment. He's running away. Everybody's running away. Here's Aflac Cup Series. King Kyle Bush bashes Diet Dew Hunter 88's head against a rock several times. Wow, he is not hesitating to get this started. Uh, myself, Raw Gator, snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Looks like everyone's running away here. The most awesome five fan grabs a jar of fishing bait while Double E Dud gets fishing gear. It looks like they're working together early. Oh, and look here. Frisky Nixon is running away, and Brendan Littell Gaming, he's scaring off into a C4R. Michael and Jason are fighting for a bag, but Michael ends up giving up. RPM's running away. Real Radman gets a sword. Racing crashes and more, and you two are fighting for a bag, but racing crashes and more ends up giving up, and a bag goes to you two. What if runs away? Looks like every every single person's really running away. There's Cody H Gaming DLB, Balak Scott. Everyone's running away in uh, the first day here. Cody H Gaming makes a slingshot as we start day one. Mr. Kyle Bush and you two are into a fight, but they both stay alive. And here we have a little alliance going on, a little alliance of five, uh, myself included. Brendan Littell steals from the most awesome five fan. Michael begs for RPM visuals to kill him, but he refuses. And to sc 4 our picks flowers, that's an interesting thing to do in the Hunger Games. I don't know if that's any beneficial, but we'll see. Double E Dud explores the arena. Balta Racing attacks a Aflac Cup Series, but he manages to escape. Bad luck Scott thinks about home. Frisky Nixon sees smoke in the distance. I don't think I'd go to that either. Real Bradman throws a knife into Sound Entertainment's chest. Wow. TNT Man practices archery. What if falls into a pit and dies? And King Kyle Bush dies of hunger in one day? Well, okay. He must have not eaten a few days before. So let's take a look at all the people that have died so far diet do hunter soundhead entertainment what if racing and king kyle bush most recently has died from the hunger games michael receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor the athletic cup series destroys bad luck scott supplies while he's asleep and double e Dud dies of dysentery it looks like myself and cody h gaming are huddling for warmth kamikaze receives clean water TNT man sets up camp. We got some more alliances forming. Oh, and look how nice the DLB. He's attending to you two's wounds. Hopefully that doesn't come back and bite him later. Brendan Latell Gaming sets up for the night. and 2 se 4 r is awoken by his nightmares. And real Radman kills Frisky Nixon. Wow, we have some betrayals going on here. Jason Jacoby lets racing crashes and more into his shelter. Looks like we got some more alliances forming on day two. Balta Racing makes a spear, making weapons now, getting firewood. Okay, got some more more uh, alliances going on. Myself, Bad Luck Scott, and RPM raid the Awesome Five fans camp. There's Dustin practicing archery. Aft that cup series is thinking about home. Brendan Littell receives clean water. And we got some more YouTubers forming alliances. So after just two days, we have once again lost a few more people. Double E Dud has died, and Frisky Nixon was killed. Here's a look at who's left. We got roughly, roughly only one quarter of people have died so far. 
All right, we're going in tonight to Anto SC4, the most awesome five fan, Mr. Kyle Bush won in the Athletic Cup series, are telling ghost stories to lighten up the mood. I'm not sure if ghost stories lighten up moods, but as long as they're being social, I think that's good. You two and Real Radman are telling stories to each other. TNT Man climbs a tree. We've got some people setting up camp for the night. We've got some more alliances forming, with including myself and RPM. Balto Racing. Bad Luck Scott is quietly by himself. Jason Jacoby is screaming for help. Racing crashes and more defeats Brennan Littell gaming in a fight, but doesn't end up killing him. And once again, we still have some more alliances forming. N2SC4, Brennan Littell Gaming, and Kamikaze unsuccessfully ambush Michael, Bad Luck Scott, and you two, and instead they kill the three of them. Oh my goodness. What a coincidence for N2SC4R and Brendan Littell Gaming to die in the same fight. They were just trying to team together, and then the other three, they just came and got him. I don't even know how that happened. That was insane. For all, that's, wow, that was the biggest fight we've had yet. Wow. Well then, TNT is trying to sleep through the day. Racing Crashes and more is exploring. DLB strangles the Aflac Cup series after engaging in a fist fight. Raw Gator camouflages. Mr. Kyle Bush one overhears Cody Gaming and RPM Visuals talking. And let's look at all the casualties after day three. N2SC4R has died with Brendan Tell Gaming and Kamikaze Games. The Aflac Cup series also has died after just three days. Cody H Gaming is thinking about winning. I think I would be too. Balto Racing loses sight of where he is. Jason Jacoby is still screaming for help one day later. And we got another alliance sleeping together for the night. Mr. Kyle Bush 1 receives a hatchet. We'll see if he can put that to good use later on. Balto Racing and Jason Jacoby work together. It looks like Jason Jacoby finally got that help he was wanting. The most awesome Fi fan tracks down and kills Michael. U2 has received an explosive from an unknown sponsor. RPM Visuals discovers a river. DLB collects fruit from a tree. Racing crashes the more and Raw Gator work together for the entire day. Real Radman is trying to sleep. TNT attacks Bad Luck Scott, but he still manages to escape. The only one that died in that day was Michael. DLB is screaming for help. U2 receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Racing crashes and more tries to start a fire, but he can't quite do it. Mr. Kyle Bush 1 loses sight. Raw Gator receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. That'll be pretty useful. TNT Man is helping the most awesome 5 fan. Balto Racing convinces Bad Luck Scott to snuggle with him. Real Radman is unable to convince Jason Jacoby not to kill him. U2 runs away from RPM visuals. The most awesome five fan discovers a cave. Bad Luck Scott tries to sleep through the entire day. DLB sprains his ankle while running away from Raw Gator. Jason Jacoby scares off Cody H Gaming. And Mr. Kabush receives, I think that's his second hatchet. How fortunate. So Real Radman has died after just five days. He is the only one that has died today. Here's a quick overview of who is left. We only have about 10, 11 people left. It's getting, it's getting close to crunch time here. It's getting down to the wire. U2 shoots a poisonous blow dart into racing crashes and Moore's neck, slowly killing him. Cody H Gaming and the Most Awesome 5 fan run into each other and decide the truth for the night. Raw Gator tends to his wounds, not sure how he got him. DLB sets up camp for the night. It looks like we got some more alliances going on, a team of four possibly, telling ghost stories. TNT Man questions his sanity. Alrighty, day six, Mr. Kyle Bush, one bad luck, Scott, you two, and DLB are hunting together. Jason Jacoby discovers a cave. TNT Man severely injures RPM visuals and leaves him to die. 
Balto Racing, Raw Gator, the most awesome five fan, and Cody H Gaming, Hunt for Other Tribes. Bad luck, Scott cries himself to sleep. Mr. Kyle Bush, one and the awesome five fan, tell stories about themselves to each other. DLB TV accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. TNT Man receives an explosive. Hopefully he doesn't do the same thing DLB does with, uh, maybe I'm guessing it's a mine he got. Raw Gator tries to sing himself to sleep. U2 overpowers Jason Jacoby, killing him instantly. Balto Racing tries to treat his infection. Cody H Gaming screams for help. Alright, we have entered the feast. The most awesome five fan decides not to go. Balto Racing doesn't go. Bad Luck Scott doesn't go. YouTube decides not to go, I decide not to go, TNT Man decides not to go, even Mr. Kalbush One does not go to the feast. Nobody's taking the bait. Bad Luck Scott travels to higher ground. Mr. Kalbush One, Balto Racing, and TNT Man, and myself raid the most awesome five fans camp while he is hunting. And YouTube scares Cody H Gaming off. So the casualties for day seven consist of DLB TV and Jason Jacoby. So we've got eight people left in the Hunger Games. That's about one third of the total count. TNT Man is helping Kyle Bush. Balto Racing doesn't want anybody near his fire. And Cody H Gaming is awoken by his nightmares. Day eight, Raw Gator chases Cody H Gaming. You two, Mr. Kyle Bush, one and Balto Racing hunt for other tribes. Bad Luck Scott decapitates TNT Man with a sword. The most awesome five fan receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Now we've only got seven people left. U2 is up to five kills. As of day eight, TNT Man is the only one who has died. Balto Racing is awoken by nightmares. Cody H Gaming forces Bad Luck Scott to kill Mr. Kyle Bush 1 or the most awesome 5 fan and he chooses to kill Mr. Kyle Bush 1. How did he force him to do that? Wow. I cannot believe that. Meanwhile, I'm setting up camp for the night. You 2 is awoken by nightmares. This is getting crazy. Cody H Gaming, Balto Racing, and Bad Luck Scott get into a fight and Balto Racing triumphantly kills them all. U2 conducts a shack. While the most awesome five fan and raw gator hunt for other tributes. Alright, we have three deaths from what is this? This is night or day nine. Mr. Kyle Bush one and Cody H Gaming, both from District 7, have died, and Bad Luck Scott has finally died from District 3. Will it be the most awesome five fan, Balto Racing, myself, or you two with a miraculous five kills? Raw Gator convinces Balto Racing to snuggle with him. Maybe he's trying to form an alliance. He knows Balto Racing's coming off a strong two kills, so maybe he wants to prevent getting killed himself. The most awesome five fan bashes U2's head in with a mace. So that means there are three more people. The most awesome five fan, Balto Racing, and myself. Day 10. Balto Racing is prickled by thorns while picking berries must be some last minute food and the most awesome five fan severely slices his raw gator with a sword i guess that means there are only two people now balls are racing in the most awesome five fan who's gonna win all right so after 10 days you two has died and myself have finally been taking out of the hunger games quick look at who's left it's between the most awesome five fan with three kills and balta racing with only two Who's gonna win it as of night 10? Balto Racing repeatedly stabs the most awesome five fan to death. And you know what that means? Balto Racing wins the Hunger Games from District 5. Balto Racing is your winner in the first ever NASCAR YouTuber Hunger Games. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for the NASCAR YouTuber Hunger Games. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Drop a like if you liked it. And maybe, just maybe, tell me if you want to see a Big Brother version or a Survivor version or any of that. Uh, maybe a part two of the Hunger Games, anything. Just let me know in the comment section. I'll be reading heart and comments. Uh, just, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video.